A patient with damage to basilar membrane presented with high frequency hearing loss. Where is the location of most likely lesion? See, very simple. Directly, the examiner could even have asked that there is a damage. The patient is suffering from high frequency hearing loss. High frequencies are heard at basal coil of the cochlea. So, directly it can be asked. But just they have a little bit they have applied here. A patient with damage to basilar membrane presented with high frequency. Where is the location of the most likely lesion? It is located at the basal coil. So, where is this basal coil? What structure is present near to this basal coil? If you see the modulus, modulus means it is the central axis of the cochlea around which the cochlea rotates. The cochlea coils around the central bony axis. That bony axis is called as modulus. Stria vascularis, as you all know, see, this is the central bony axis. Around this bony axis, your cochlea is vibrating. See, your cochlea is vibrating like this, right? Okay. So, this is the central modulus. If there is a problem in the modulus, then entire nerve should get affected. Not only high frequency hearing loss, all frequencies should get affected. But in the question, they are asking about high frequency hearing loss. That means only the basal coil of the cochlea is getting affected. So, in options, you have to search for the structure that is present near to the, the basal coil of the cochlea. If you take the stria vascularis, stria vascularis is also present on the lateral wall. You can see lateral wall surrounding entire throughout the cochlea, the stria vascularis will be present like this, isn't it? So, even if stria vascularis gets affected, all frequencies should be affected. And now helicotrema, what do you mean by helicotrema? See, at the apical coil of the cochlea, at the apical coil of the cochlea, see, at the apical coil of the cochlea, the outer one is the bony labyrinth. This is the membranous labyrinth. Okay. This is scala vestibuli, scala tympani. This is scala media. The scala vestibuli is continuous with the scala tympani here. So, here is the perilymph is there. Here also perilymph. So, no problem. Inside, there is endolymph, right? So, this apical part where vestibuli is continuous with tympani, this is called as helicotrema. If apical coil helicotrema is affected, then low frequency hearing loss should be affected. But the question says high frequency hearing loss. So, it is oval window. Where your oval window is located, see here your oval window is located and this is the basal coil of the cochlea. This is the apical coil. So, the here oval window. So, see the location of the most likely lesion should be near the oval window that is the basal coil of the cochlea. So, that's why high frequency hearing loss is affected. Clear? So, this is about this MCQ. Just the basic direct question is just converted a little bit application. Okay. Just you have to apply. That's it. So, that's why you have to get the basic right, anatomical arrangement right, physiology perfectly. You can apply for yourself in during the exam or when solving the MCQs. Okay. Thank you.